Hello. I come out here today to share a minimal basic survival kit that I'm going to be carrying during this hunting season. I would be carrying my backpack style kit, but that is a black bag and I cannot throw a backpack on my back during hunting season and legally hunt unless it's orange or unless I cover that with orange. I have to have so many square centimeters visible for other hunters to see of the hunter orange. So I have taken items and threw into this butt pack so I can carry what I need out here. Now this here are just some basic items that I think anyone that comes out into the forest should carry some form of these items especially hunters so this one here I'm sharing to possibly help hunters out there carry a minimal pack that is not intrusive at all it's you know it's back there it's out of the way and it can supply you with gear needed if you're caught in a bad situation so hopefully this will give you some ideas. You can use different bags and such. This is what I have and it works well. Now, just on the back, that's my camera case for filming here today. But right on top, I'm just gonna start opening these up and right on top is a very important item. That there would be a good headlamp with spare battery. I've seen me many times waiting for the end of the hunting season for the day. And it gets pretty dark, especially if you're way back in the woods. So having a headlamp to get out, very, very good idea. So I just have that up top. On one of the side pouches, what I have is a compass. Now I do not have a map of this area, but I do have a cell phone. If I do get hurt, I can call. I have signal here. Also, I have GPS on that, but you can't always count on that. So carrying a compass, very important. All I have to know is a general direction I have to head in. I know my car is parked to the east and there's a major highway out there. I'm going to reach it somewhere if I hit east. Also to the south is another major highway. As long as I'm going in a southerly direction, I'm going to come out there. So very important to carry a compass. This here is water purifying straw. Now you can carry many different water purifiers or water filters. Very good carry. And I also just have some fire starters and a lighter in this pouch. Of course, today, if it started raining, it could be very bad conditions fast because it's just above freezing and you do not want to be wet out here it's also very windy. So in those conditions, a fire could save your life. Also in here, I have another way to start fire. This one has magnesium, ferro rod, fatwood, and a striker. This one here is for extreme conditions. And I got this one at direction, or four directions bushcraft. Works really well. And I've made many fires with it. Also in here, I have a tarp painter's drop cloth that I can use if it starts pouring rain to throw over me really quick and stay dry. Very important. In this other pouch, I have some snacks. A couple energy bars. That there 
can help if you're lost or stranded with morale. But if I'm just out here, need a snack, it's there. So something else to carry, lightweight, compact, why not? I also have a knife on my side. You can carry whatever you like. I brought this one out today. That helps, of course, the cutting tool. And what else I have in here, I have a rain poncho. First aid kit. And a survival blanket shelter and that's basically it so what I'm gonna do now is just show you these and then go over what we've actually covered with this gear so in that kit I have three forms of protection from the wind and rain now I can Pull this out quickly, throw that on, keeps me dry. And thus being dry, you keep the insulation value of your clothing. So very important to keep dry. Also, two types of shelters if I like, or I can just throw them on and wrap them around me. So shelter, to keep that core temperature, very important. I also carry a first aid kit out here. I am first aid qualified. So knowing how to use this is utmost important. Same thing as all this gear. You have to know how to use it for it to function properly for you. But this here, adding it to a kit, can make all the difference as well. Two ways of starting fire here. Got the fire starter that I can light with the disposable lighter or the ferro rod. I also know many different types of tinders in my area, natural tinders, that I can use with these as well. So fire can keep you warm, boil water, and so on. So having some fire starters, very good idea. Out here also, carrying some way to make your water safe to drink is very important. If you have a metal container, you can use fire and boil that water. This here is just a straw that hooks to a filter I can go right over drink directly from a water source and go or if I'm stationary I can go over and drink from the source when I'm thirsty so this here is minimal effort and you're still getting safe drinking water also some snacks you know yourself if you miss a meal or two it can be rather unpleasant so just to keep your mood up and your spirits up, it's a good idea just to have some snacks also for energy. I just brought this out today. I normally have my survival bush point on my side. But this here would do most jobs you need. Most firewood you can collect by your hands. You can break big pieces between two trees and so on if need be but myself I always carry a good fixed blade my survival bush point and a Baco Laplander saw that way there I can process wood a lot easier but I just wanted to show that if you're stranded out here for a few hours you don't need much firewood and such this here will do a lot of the tasks you'll need I also carry the compass, like I said, for general direction if need be. And a headlamp can be used for getting out when it's late or if you lose your path. Also, if you had shot an animal and it had run, you can use the headlamp to go and find that animal after dark. So many uses also around camp. Headlamp I prefer just because it leaves your hands free. And lastly, I carry a whistle. Also, good to have out here for signaling. This here are just some items for a basic kit. Knowing how to use these, like I mentioned, is very important. But you can do a lot to keep yourself alive or comfortable in some 
really bad weather or conditions. I want to thank you for watching. I hope these little tips and this gear can help some folks out if they ever need it.